The rise of China over the last decade as a global leader has significantly challenged the U.S.'s long-standing position as the world's dominant power. This shift did not occur overnight. The transition from a unipolar to a multipolar world is rooted not only in the strategic actions of China and other global South countries, but also in the shortcomings of U.S. policies and actions. In this video, we will compare the policies and actions of the U.S. and China to explore the underlying reasons for the current geopolitical landscape. By examining these factors, we aim to shed light on the root causes of the changing balance of global power. The U.S.'s political and social framework often necessitates an external enemy to justify its extensive military expenditures and interventions. This mindset is rooted in historical narratives of defending freedom and democracy against authoritarian regimes. However, there have been instances where military actions were not justified and were based on unfounded or false claims. A prominent example is the invasion of Iraq, which was purportedly justified by the presence of weapons of mass destruction under Saddam Hussein's regime. However, after the occupation, no such weapons were found. This perspective can lead to the exaggeration of perceived threats to maintain domestic support for military spending and actions. This adversarial stance is further entrenched by the influence of defense contractors and their allies in Congress and the Pentagon. These entities benefit financially from increased military spending and often push for heightened perceptions of external threats to ensure continued funding. Between 2010 and 2018, the six largest Pentagon contractors spent over $163.9 billion on stock repurchases and dividends highlighting the financial incentives behind maintaining a high level of military expenditure. The United States has a pattern of engaging in military actions under broad and often vaguely defined authorizations, such as the 2001 Authorization for Use of Military Force, or AUMF. This authorization has been used to justify military operations in numerous countries without a clear objective, contributing to a state of perpetual war and substantial human and financial costs. The Afghanistan war alone has cost over $2.6 trillion and resulted in significant casualties. This need for an external enemy not only sustains military budgets, but also shapes U.S. foreign policy, often leading to interventions that may not align with the realities on the ground. For instance, during the Cold War and more recent conflicts, the U.S. has often exaggerated threats to justify interventions, sometimes with counterproductive outcomes. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. For the fiscal year 2024, the U.S. defense budget is set at approximately $883.7 billion. This allocation includes $841.4 billion for the Department of Defense, DOD. $32.4 billion for national security programs within the Department of Energy, and $438 million for defense-related activities. This budget supports a broad array of military capabilities including hypersonic missiles, space defense systems, and advanced cyber operations. The U.S. maintains a vast global military presence with hundreds of bases in over 70 countries. However, this extensive military infrastructure also fosters a reliance on military solutions for international issues potentially overshadowing diplomatic and economic strategies. There is significant evidence indicating that the U.S. government has allocated substantial funds to shape media narratives, particularly concerning China. A recent bill passed by the U.S. Congress as part of the America Competes Act includes a $500 million allocation to produce journalism critical of China. This funding is directed to the U.S. Agency for Global Media, USAGM, which oversees outlets like Voice of America, VOA, and Radio Free Asia, RFA. These media outlets have historically been accused of blurring the line between objective news coverage and pro-American propaganda. Moreover, claims have emerged that the U.S. has earmarked up to $1.5 billion over five years to train Western journalists to write negatively about China. This initiative aims to control the information landscape, presenting U.S. policies favorably while casting adversaries in a negative light. These actions are part of a broader strategy to maintain a favorable global image for the U.S. 
while countering perceived disinformation from rivals. However, critics argue that such measures undermine journalistic integrity and could lead to increased suspicion and antagonism rather than fostering mutual understanding and cooperation. This approach reflects a continuation of Cold War-era tactics where media was used as a tool for propaganda. Historical precedents such as the United States Information Agency, USIA, and other Cold War propaganda efforts show a pattern of the U.S. leveraging media to influence global opinions and promote American values. China's foreign policy emphasizes collaboration and mutual benefit, particularly through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. Launched in 2013 by President Xi Jinping, the BRI aims to build infrastructure and improve connectivity across Asia, Europe, and Africa. It includes constructing railways, ports, highways, and digital infrastructure with the goal of enhancing global trade and development. To date, over 200 cooperation agreements have been signed with more than 150 countries and 30 international organizations. These projects not only boost economic growth, but also create jobs and improve living standards in participating countries. For example, China has spent an estimated $1 trillion on BRI projects, which have helped lift over 40 million people out of poverty and created more than 400,000 jobs in host countries. The BRI also supports China's economic interest by expanding its export markets, promoting the international use of the renminbi, and reducing trade barriers. It helps China establish economic and political leverage over participating countries by integrating them into a network of economic partnerships thereby increasing their dependency on the Chinese economy. Contrary to the U.S.'s militarized stance, China's foreign policy is characterized by non-interference and respect for sovereignty. This approach is deeply rooted in the five principles of peaceful coexistence, which include mutual respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, mutual non-aggression, non-interference in each other's internal affairs, equality and mutual benefit, and peaceful coexistence. These principles were first articulated in 1954 and have continued to guide China's international relations. China avoids establishing military bases abroad and instead focuses on diplomatic and economic engagements. This strategy aims to build trust and long-term relationships rather than seeking immediate military advantages. For example, China often abstains or refrains from voting on United Nations resolutions that mandate sanctions or interventions allowing such actions to proceed without directly contravening its non-interference policy. The emphasis on peaceful coexistence aligns with China's broader strategic goals of maintaining regional stability and fostering global economic growth. By promoting initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, China seeks to enhance global trade and development through infrastructure projects without military involvement. This approach is designed to create a network of economic partnerships that foster stability and prosperity, benefiting both China and its partner countries. China consistently advocates for resolving conflicts through dialogue and negotiation. This diplomatic stance is evident in its active participation in international forums and efforts to mediate regional disputes. China's commitment to multilateralism is highlighted by its support for international institutions like the United Nations UN, where it often calls for peaceful negotiations and conflict resolution over unilateral actions. China's foreign policy principles, known as the Five Principles of Peaceful Coexistence, emphasize mutual respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, non-aggression, non-interference in internal affairs, equality, and peaceful coexistence. These principles guide China's approach to international relations and its preference for diplomacy over military intervention. China's participation in the UN and other international organizations showcases its dedication to multilateralism. For instance, China has engaged in conflict mediation efforts in various regions including Afghanistan, Myanmar, Sudan, and East Africa. It has also established initiatives like the $200 million United Nations Peace and Development Trust Fund to support global peacekeeping and conflict resolution efforts. Furthermore, China's Global Security Initiative, GSI, and its mediation in the Saudi-Iran talks underscore its proactive role in promoting dialogue and diplomatic solutions. Despite maintaining a neutral stance in conflicts such as the Russia-Ukraine war, China continues to emphasize the importance of sovereignty and territorial integrity while advocating for peaceful resolutions. 
The U.S.'s insistence on maintaining global dominance through military means may lead to its decline as other nations favor cooperative and multipolar approaches. This strategic over-reliance on military power contrasts with the rising influence of China and other emerging powers, which are increasingly advocating for a balanced international system based on cooperation and shared governance. China's approach to global relations emphasizes diplomatic and economic engagements rather than military intervention. This strategy is evident in initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, which aims to build infrastructure and foster economic connectivity across multiple continents. By focusing on mutual benefit and cooperation, China has positioned itself as a key player in a more multipolar world. The shift towards a multipolar world signifies a significant change in global dynamics. Many nations are seeking to balance their relations between the U.S. and other major powers, including China and Russia, to avoid being caught in great power rivalries. This trend is reflected in the increasing number of countries participating in regional and international organizations that promote collective security and economic development without relying solely on U.S. leadership. For the U.S. to maintain its influence constructively in this evolving global order, it must adapt to these changes. Embracing a multipolar world involves recognizing the importance of multilateralism and engaging in partnerships based on mutual respect and shared goals. By doing so, the U.S. can contribute positively to global stability and prosperity rather than relying on military dominance, which may no longer be sustainable or effective in the long term. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.